आर यू टायर्ड ऑफ ऑल द मैन्युअल एपीआई डॉक्यूमेंटेशन दैट यू आर डूइंग योर सेल्फ दैट यू हैव फॉरगॉटन दैट यू आर अ डेवलपर नॉट एन सम कंटेंट राइटर और एपीआई डॉक्यूमेंटेशन पर्सन हु हैव टू राइट ऑल द डॉक्यूमेंटेशन ऑन योर ओन आर यू टायर्ड ऑफ ऑल द थर्ड पार्टी पीपल फ्रंट एंड पीपल सिटिंग ऑन योर हेड एंड आस्किंग फॉर यू फॉर द रिक्वेस्ट एंड रिस्पांस ऑफ द एपीआई डोंट वरी नाउ इन द कमिंग टू वीडियोस वी विल अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज स्वैगर हाउ दिस स्वैगर कैन हेल्प यू to read get rid of all this and focus on the development part over there while swagger taking care of all the api work and everything so first let me show you like what we'll be building in the two part of the uh, video okay so this is one of the um, crowd ap application that we have made in, in the previous videos in which we have used the function based api view and class based api view and created the crowd, uh, crowd api So for that, before that, we didn't have any kind of a documentation. And everything we used to go in the Postman, uh, writing the manual, like request and getting the response over there. But if I have to give this API to someone else, they will get confused. Like, what is the API about? What will be the request of the API? What will be the response of the API? So the thing that you are seeing in my screen is all automated. I have not written any kind of a code or anything to make this work over here. This thing tells me that there are four kind of a different different um um methods in the same api so this api is slash student underscore api and there are four different method get method post method put method and yield method in get method if i do and try it out i can see over here that i get this kind of a response over here okay and now the people see what are the post method over here yeah so now they can see that in this post method there are the two field name and role field which is string field and over here we can have description about this field I, for now i have written in dummy kind of a description I write the name of a student over here you can write anything over here if for the description part over there and in the response they can see that they will be they will be getting the id field name and role field over here okay same in same is the case with the put over here in the delete now it's a different kind of a thing in delete we only we only need id and as a response they will get a message that your data has been deleted so all this thing has been done automated i have not set hours and hours on this and to write this documentation over here so we'll be learning this how to um, write this api documentation but before that let us understand why do we need api documentation okay and how can swagger come into rescue in a second part of this series uh, video we'll be writing the code and understand how this thing works and everything okay so let's get jump and to understand what we'll be learning in this video in this video we'll be understanding api why api what api we'll be getting the introduction to this swagger okay then we'll be understanding what are the advantages of swagger and we'll be seeing a glimpse of the drf ysg library which is for the django to create the api documentation so let's go to the second slide and understand what is api documentation why do we need it so as we have created as you can see over here we have created the rest api application that does the back end work of the part so the api has been created over here we have created the rest web api so now let's say uh, we have to integrate this api with the um, application okay or we have to give this uh, api to the to the any third party um, vendor over there so they come they will come to us and ask for the request and response they would be needing for this thing okay So, so this is where the api documentation come into picture and play its role over here but what is api documentation api documentation is a technical content deliverable construct uh, containing instruction but how to use this api uh, effectively okay so it is a concise manual so it will be kind of a manual or some kind of a journal which will tell you that what will be the request of this api what should i expect the response of the api and everything okay and but till now what is the problem with the api documentation that api documentation is done manually developers sit hours and hours and write the api documentation like this is the request this is the response and one more problem with this major problem that whenever the api uh, the, whenever the developer makes some changes in the uh, api and everything they have to come again back and start again writing and make some changes in the api documentation This is the back and forth because the API get changes uh, regularly. There are some changes that I have to make this thing, that make, make that thing, and they come in the API documentation and make the changes. This all thing is got hidden with the help of the Swagger. The Swagger is the open source uh, software framework. It is backed by a very large ecosystem over there, which is used to build the RESTful APIs, web service, documentation, and everything. 
okay so it allows you to describe the structure of the api so the machine can read from that and automatically create the api for you the api documentation for you swagger takes the manual work out of of the api documentation with a range of solution for generating the visualizing and maintaining api documentation this is the power of the swagger which helps which is blessed by the so many developers it has help them to reduce the task by a ton and ton of our work so let's go and understand uh, see the official website of swagger so this is the official website of swagger it's supported by smart bearer it can do many kind of a thing over here i'm just talking about one simple thing we are only talking about the api development and everything it can do the api testing it can do the api monitoring and so many thing and small part of the video will be going with with the small things over here it is used for the api documentation and something okay it is used by very big big con uh, companies over here it is used by microsoft it is used by national geographic not just in new city there are many many different different kind of a company uses this over here okay so this is the one of the library which will be using in django rest framework drf ysg ysg will be using this uh, library installing in our machine and see that how we can generate the this api documentation for ourselves so don't forget to subscribe to the channel because in the next video i'm going to show you how we can make the api documentation for ourselves okay please press the like button if you like the video share it with your friend who are still struggling who are still doing the api documentation on their own who is piling bombarded by the manager that why it is taking so much of time okay so share this video with them please um, follow me on instagram i'll be uh, sharing the link in the description i'll be sharing all the links for the, for the swagger and everything in the description over there okay please comment like oh, are you are you the one of the person who is being tortured by the other kind of a people that where is the api documentation what is the request what is the response kind of a thing okay so don't forget to um, subscribe because we'll meet in the next video till then take care